Okay, there we go. It can come out a little bit. It can go to the side a little bit. You, you can move it. Is it okay? Yeah, you can. It can come further away from the wall. That's right. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm checking all our cameras here. Okay, so this was our first presentation, and of course the first time is going to be a little bit uh, difficult, right? So what I'd like to do is go over the video with you and let you see it, and then we can talk about it. And while I'm talking, I'm going to record what I'm saying, and then later I can take that video and you can see that too. So you can watch it again. Right, to make it better. It's always good to watch yourself more to help your presentation get better, right? Okay, so let's uh, take a look over here at our uh, video. Let me see if I can start that. A little bit of time. At the you point. may begin when you like. <coughs> Welcome to the 2013 Annual Expo of Amazon.com. So Amazon was started by the one and only Jeffrey Basil. So Amazon was chosen by Jeffrey Basil as a name since it starts with letter A, making it easier to find in the roster of other companies. So Amazon was founded in the year 1990. Okay, so when we begin the presentation, at the very beginning about Amazon, I think uh, we talked earlier, we need to have our main point up front. So it would be helpful to have a main point as soon as possible. Otherwise it gets confusing, what, why should I follow you, right? So a little bit of a weakness is at the beginning there's no real main point. Although they tell us who the founder is. But the presentation is not really about the founder. The presentation is about the company. So I think in this case the beginning is a little bit uh, weak and headquartered in Seattle, Washington. Amazon grew to be a Fortune 100 company since then. To be Earth's most customer-centric company where customers can find and discover anything they might want to buy online and endeavors to offer its customers the lower possible prices is Amazon's motto. Okay, I think, <laughs> let me just stop and go here. So. I think we can see from the beginning here, uh, the body language is, is nice and conservative. The slides are nice and simple. Today we're going to talk more about slides. And I think that the stages of the presentation are not too bad, that you're able to make the stages uh, transition not too bad. It's a little bit hard to follow though. You can be able to purchase CDs, MP3 music, health and beauty products, as well as computer games. The technological innovation drives the growth of Amazon.com to offer customers more types of products at low costs. The company entered the ebook hardware industry in the year 2007 with the release of the original Kindle Reader. Okay, I think now we jump into a product, right? And this is their tablet and things like this. The problem here is the presentation didn't have a main point to start with. And so without a main point, it becomes, well, this is just kind of like, a, is this about the product? And they have many products. This is just one product. So is it about e-readers? Is it about technological innovation? Is it about Bayos? What is it about? So in a five-minute presentation, we want to, as quickly as possible, get a main point and then just, just hit with that main point. And when you're making your presentation, that seems like not enough. But when you're listening to the presentation, it's enough. That's the difference. The Kindle family has been growing to include the latest um, addition to their new family, the Kindle Fire, which includes 4D, 4G, and LTE in their line of products. In the year 2000, Amazon.com be began to offer its best of read e commerce platform to other tailors and to individual sellers. Today, Hundreds of 
thousands of world-class retail brands and individual sellers increase their sales and reach new customers by leveraging their products through the use of Amazon's platform. As of today, in the year 2012, now, in this presentation, there's one of the strong points is the transitions. So the presentation is very good at making the transitions. So today we can see, uh, let's look next at, we're going to study more about transitions, but I think the transitions are quite good. One of the weaknesses of the transitions is they're not very exciting. So, so the presenter needs to get more excited about the transitions and say, well, this is the next thing that's next, and then tell us why it's important. Otherwise, it sounds just one more one more thing. Revenue of Amazon reached 61 billion US dollars while it had the operating income of 676 million US dollars and a net income of 39 million US dollars in the year 2012. On the other hand, its total assets amounted to 32.55 billion. See that? Billion On the US other hand, it's a very good transition. Total equity of 8.19 billion US dollars with employees as much as 88,400. Employees, right. Okay, now... Um, Amazon employs a, a lot of employees around the world. It spans from America, South America, Europe, and Asia. Right? They have development offices, such as in Japan, also. Is it getting stuck, or was that the end? No, that's the end, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, right, 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 right. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I even asked you, it's the end, right? Yeah, no. Uh, that was the end? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, the ending was quite abrupt, right? So we want to make the ending... Uh, now, we're going to learn more about this uh, in our, I think, next week's class. You need to signal the ending's coming. And part of signaling the ending's coming, remember we talked about the last chapter was this kind of map, right? So I, I lead you step by step. Now, how do I lead you? Number one, I tell you what's the main point. And that main point is it kind of makes me feel excited. So I'm excited. You should be excited. And then I want to tell you step one and step two. And every time I want to make a transition, the next point, and then, and then, and therefore, and so, and then get excited again. And we are just about out of time. And finally, and at last, lastly, let me show you. And then I know the end is coming. You see? So in this presentation, we had some strong points and some, some weak points. Uh, the strong points is the uh, English is actually quite, uh, quite good, quite clear. Vocabulary is quite good, and the uh, um, information accuracy. You had some good information in there, so, so that one's quite good. The time was a little bit short, right? You have five minutes, so you would, you would like to use up five minutes. But shorter is okay, um, but <laughs> uh, I think you could have you had a stronger main point and help your time go a little bit longer. So on the, on the starting time, that was perfect, and the ending time is a little bit uh, short. Okay. And for your organization, I think you had a good organization. I'm using the score sheet, by the way, right? So everybody can follow on the score sheet. For the, for the organization, I think the organization was, was very structured, but the introduction was a little bit weak on the introduction, a little bit weak on the introduction. And... On the ending, that was very uh, soft ending. So you didn't, didn't see the ending coming at all, right? And for the connections, they were very good, very good connections. And the relevance, length, and level, these were uh, not too bad. They were not too bad. Okay, so give you about seven points there. Now the delivery, the tempo was a bit slow. And everybody was watching with me, right? Didn't you feel it was a little bit slow, right? There was no speed up. Volume was very good. Expressiveness was very minimal, right? Very, not a lot of body language in there. Not a lot of, ex uh, not, not really body language, but the l speaking language was not very expressive. So you could get, you could get more of that. And articulation was, was actually quite good, but not super interesting. 
but not exciting, I should say. Not exciting, okay? Okay, the language was all very good. i give you like eight there. The language was uh, quite good, quite strong. The contact with the audience, the eye contact was quite good, was quite, uh, quite well done. But the interest of the presentation, this is like your interest. How interested are you? How confident are you? I think the confidence and interest was a little bit, a little bit not strong enough. So you should be stronger on that. Body language was very conservative. Eye contact was good. But everything else was not enough. So we need to get a little bit more. Now later we're going to see another group that had too much. So it's hard to get the balance right. And the visual aids, the slides were quite simple. The design was uh, quite straightforward. And this was good enough for me. I do not like fancy slides. I like to keep the slides nice and simple, okay? And I think you got your slides together very quickly, too, just before the presentation, right? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, let me give this back to you now. And then give it back to me at the end of class. I need to add up the total, okay? All right, so far so good. <laughs> Everybody gets so nervous so easily, it seems like, huh? Okay, so I'm in under our Google Sheet, and I want to look at our companies here. So who's next? Apple is next. So we've got uh, Alice, Kevin, and Amber, right? Okay, let's switch over to Apple. Double click Apple here. Okay, here they're just practicing, getting ready. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Apple Company. Glad to see you here. Before we go into the company, I want to make sure us knowing the company first. Later, we will have three managers to introduce the introduction for you. I'm Kevin. Okay, here was the beginning and he introduced company. pretty well, saying they're visitors questions. from outside. I appreciate you hold it until I'm done. Question time, good dimension. History. And I like the three main points, very, very clear. The first, history. There are some important dates you should This is a nice road map to help us see the way. Our company established, and in 1984, we announced Macintosh. People said that was a masterpiece. And in 2001, we opened the first official Apple retail store. And same year, we have our portable digital audio player, iPod. And in 2007, we changed our name from Apple Computer Company to Apple Company because the computer was no longer the main focus of our company. We shifted to Okay, the now, profile. this is a good organization, yeah, but right now, Apple. I think everyone begins in to get bored. We right? It's Apple. not, it's, it loses its and point. It is history, but so what? Our new product, you see? IPad. So he has three main points, and history is one of them. But then in the history, it's like, so how is this related to the main point? You see? So I think everyone can feel a slowdown. Okay, now, what we just saw there was a transition. So when another speaker comes in, making a transition is not easy. This is pretty smooth, not bad. There's a nice clear slide. It's a very good use of a slide. Again though, now we're getting into the detail and it's kind of like, so what? Also, when you're speaking, everything is the same. The, the competitors, me, you, everyone, 
Everything you say is the same. There's no interest or excitement that our company is this one, or we're competing more, or we're doing something special. Okay, and that's another transition. It's not bad. A little bit slow. All right, relax, relax, relax. Okay, so here the problem is, you can see in the presentation, at this point we begin to wonder, what are they talking about? You see? So it's probably a good idea for the last person in your presentation to be very strong, to have a very clear presentation point to help the audience get back into interest. Okay. Now the ending, again, the ending is the same thing. The ending suddenly end and just walk away. And so the ending is a little bit of a problem for this one also. So everyone, when you were watching, I think you felt the same thing at the beginning. It's like, hey, the organization is quite strong. Wow, look, three clear points. And then after history begins, you just go, uh, and you begin to look at your computer. I saw everybody doing this. I have you on video. I saw you. So you just begin to doze off. So, Having the organization at level one, that's good, but you also need it at level two. Remember we talked about the outline? Level two, so I can see, what's this? And then, really important is when you're inside that level, some things are really exciting and then some things are a number. Here's 10, we have 100,000 employees and this makes us competitive, make it interesting and exciting, you see? So it's a little bit like that. So. On the English here, we have 100% English, of course. Information accuracy is not bad. A little bit pronunciation not too easy for you, so you can work on that, I think. Okay. The start on time and end on time. I think you were just under five minutes, so that's very good. <coughs> so that's good. And the system was good at the top level. The connections were good too, but they were not very, they were not always very exciting or interesting. And the delivery, the tempo is a little bit slow. Very similar to Amazon. Dun, 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 dun. You want to sometimes be faster, sometimes be slower. Keep the audience interested. Also not very expressive. You were all very stiff. Okay, you can see yourself very stiff. And when you're stiff, that makes the audience feel nervous, right? Okay, the sentence length, style, linkers, emphasizers, these were not bad, but you did not have any real emotion in them. So you were speaking the English words, but they were not a giving us any signal. Were they the thing that's next, and then it's something exciting, and then it's something, something I want to show you. I think you need more variation. Need more variation in your in your talking. Okay. So I'll give you like a five down there. Okay, manner, audience, contact, interest. Your eye contact with the audience is quite good. That's actually quite well done. But it was not very interesting. So you need to use your contact with the audience to keep them interested. Okay. Body language was very minimal, so you need to have more. Your eye contact, though, was quite good. But all the other things were not enough. Okay. That. And your slide designs were quite clear and simple. I like that, right? That was a good job on the slide design. Okay. Okay. Over to the Apple group down there. Okay, who is next? Next is going to be Netflix. 
So we've got Bo and Joanna from Netflix. Now when we started, you didn't know what Netflix was. Now you know. Okay. Let's jump over to Netflix next. Okay, let me just say a few words so I can test the audio. Oops, I think the beginning is here. Today, we would like to right welcome to the headquarters of Netflix. My name is Joanna. My name is Bo. Today, we would like to introduce our company, Netflix Sounds, with a five minute presentation. If you have any questions, we will try to answer all of your questions after the presentation. Is it okay? <laughs> Okay, now, actually, right there, I want everyone to see that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back it up and show you again. I want everyone to look at this one more time because I think, actually, out of everyone's presentation, this was the time I really thought that I thought your presentation would be interesting. And I tell you why I thought it would be interesting because right here, watch. If you have any questions, we will try to answer all of your questions the presentation. Okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> okay. This was testing, right? Okay. But when you did, that's why I was later. I was kind of disappointed because when you did that, I thought, oh, you're going to relax. <laughs> you see? But then later during the presentation, you didn't relax. <laughs> right? So if her pre if the presentation was more like that, it'd be much more interesting actually when we're all watching the presentation we can see if the people are having fun they're laughing they enjoy themselves we feel more comfortable and that's a fun presentation it makes us easier to listen so presentations are not about just being so formal and stiff right okay now let's get past that and go on AC is quite noisy in here. Yeah. There we go. Okay, ready? You may begin whenever you like. Good afternoon. Welcome to Netflix headquarters. My name is Joanna. And I am in sales department. <laughs> my name is Bo. I'm in marketing Okay, now just like that, making a mistake. Actually, that was a chance that you could laugh and relax because everybody makes mistakes. That would make the audience feel more normal. But instead, you kind of like, oh, get, get very questions. stiff. We would like to answer all of your questions after the presentation. Have you ever been facing a situation such as missing your favorite TV show or NBA competition? Now, this I actually yes. like. We are the company to solve your problem. Have you ever... So they tell you a situation and what this company does to solve the problem. I'm going to now, you didn't make the point really clear. But that was a good way to make a map. Because remember, we want to have a beginning to an end. So they're telling us, how, what's the goal? What's that end? And our company can show you how to get there. I think that was a great way to do it. Only it wasn't clear enough. understand our vision. Let's go. And just like here, let's go. The idea is, I'm going to show you how to get to that goal. Let's go. So they're trying to make that map, right? It's just not really clear. Mr. Hastings is a co-founder and CEO of Netflix. He is not only a CEO. He also attends as a member of educational nonprofits. 
Now here the problem is when you began, you told us you're going to tell us how to solve the problem, but then you talked about the CEO. So it seems like it's not really clear. The mission of our company is that members can play, pause, and resume watching, all without commercials. In 2002, Netflix traded on Nasdaq Stock Exchange under the symbol of NFLX. In summary, Netflix now what they've done here is they have two people together. People so it's not easy to do because what do you do when you're standing there, right? What does what does Bo do? It's just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay. So, but that's good. She's getting a little bit, but a little maybe interaction would be more helpful. Canada, United States, Latin America, UK, and other North Europe countries. Next, Bo will introduce our service. Thank you, Jaya. I'm going to present the service of Netflix Company. Netflix Company has three operations in the company. The first segment is domestic DVD rental. The second one is domestic streaming. And the third one is international streaming. For DVD rental service, Netflix is provide the quality to tight. The, the first tie is normal DVD, and the second tie is Blu-ray disc. Okay, so we have a little bit of body language with the numbers, but it's very minimal. More body language would be useful, I think, to make a point. And for this chart, it shows that Netflix, uh, Netflix company has the, um, the, the, the download. Okay, now right here would be perfect if we could have some interaction. More Netflix get the credit from customer that could provide the overall shopping experience and also the value or price of the Netflix. For the market strategy, because of the high competition in the market, the Netflix has the strategy that they will offer the best price for domestic uh, streaming in And then the transitions are good, US. finally, next. And then, and those are good transitions, but the body language doesn't easy. match the transitions, right? Uh, and here we get a big slowdown. Internet network. And next phase expect that in, 4, 000, in 2014, they will expand the market to Europe, Germany, and France. Remember that our slogan is watch TV show, movie, anytime, <coughs> anywhere, for one low monthly price. Thank you. Okay, then at the end of the presentation, we get the kind of the overall point of Netflix. But as you can see, as, as we watch the presentation here, even though the presentation is only five minutes, even so, people who are watching kind of forget what was the main point? What happened here? So it's easy in your presentation to think that you need to say so much, but actually you need to just stick to one main point and keep on that main point. So at the beginning you had said what the business goal is. Do you want to watch movies at any time, something, something? But then at the end, you kind of didn't link it back too clearly enough, right? It's kind of, but not enough. So I thought that you were organization was quite a good idea but when you executed it it was a little bit weak right so you had a good idea and why was it weak because your body language is very stiff because you're not helping each other because you don't relax a little bit because you're not helping the audience with any signals you're just speaking the words so the system was quite good but you didn't execute it well so the delivery was uh, a bit weak okay the language was was good at the start and then it's kind of slowed down. Then I think you all got tired. And then during both sections, she got very kind of slowed down a lot, which is okay to go slow, but you need to make some points. And you make some things are important and some things are not so important. You need to have the variation. So I think at the end got far too slow. 
Okay, so I score that here. And the manner, I think that your appearance is quite good, your eye contact is quite good, but you're too frozen all of the time. So you need to get more interest, more variation in there, okay? And the slides are quite clear and no problem there, I think. Okay. There we go. Let me pass that down there. Thank you. Okay, who's next? Sands is next. Now, Sands is not such a... I think so far out of all the companies, the easiest one actually would be Netflix because they have a very clear business, easy to convey. Everybody knows to watch TV or watch streaming. But uh, uh, so far, I think uh, probably the most difficult company would be uh, oh, Amazon and Sands because Amazon's such a wide-ranging company. You, it's hard to find a main point. And then Sands is not easy either because... Well, it's like the whole, it's the whole entertainment business, you <laughs> yeah. see. You know, it's really wide-ranging too, right? Okay, so let's take a look over here at Sands. Let me get Sands up and running. Professor, we are ready to go. All right, begin whenever you want. Hey, hello everyone, I'm Alan, and this is Mia. We are going to introduce our company, Las Vegas Sands Corporations. We are an American company that operates casino and resort in the world, and also we are one of the leading developers of the destination properties. And also in 2012, we are being ranked as the 278th of Fortune Top 100 in the world and available in share market in New York City. Okay, it's time for us to tell the properties around the world. Uh, we have many resources in the United States and Asia. Okay, I think at the beginning, the weakness is, again, same thing. What's the main point? Even now, if somebody did not know Sands, I think they would be hard to guess what's the business. Financial is one of the luxurious hotel and that receive five diamond awards in the United States. And the feature is that if you're creating the legendary landmark of the Venice. Here we're talking about the properties of Sands and their special designs and their awards they've won. I think that right there could be the whole presentation. You know, you could have just talked about one of the properties as an example of Sands. You see what I mean? You could just say, let's just talk about this one property and show pictures and say what they do and how exciting it is. And then you say, and then if you want to visit, we have these everywhere. You see, but you're trying to cover everything. And I know that it's supposed to be an introduction to the company, but by being so wide, nobody quite follows what it's about. Now here again, it's not easy to present multiple people together. The advantage of multiple people together is that they can help each other. Also, they can interact. But so far, what we have is each person is kind of separate, right? And so I feel, I feel Celia is here talking, and and uh, Alan's over here just like you know. <laughs> Okay, let's focus, <laughs> focus, 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 everybody watch. Okay, now here, the presentation starts to slow down even more. You can feel it slowing down. It slows down because you're getting confused because you got too much information, really too much. And from the audience, we're like, at the beginning, we're not sure what the sands do, who are they? Um, for example, let me ask, uh, let me ask, um, 
Let me ask Eric. Eric, what does Sans do? <laughs> what does Sans do? What does Sans do? Yeah. This company here, yo, hello, hello, right here, hello. Huh? Hello? Huh? No? No? No idea? Paul, what do Sands do? What do they make? What do they make? No? Do you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> you see? Just explaining the hotel business would already be a big job. Okay. You see? So you're trying to explain everything quickly and then everybody misses the main point. So this is everyone's problem today. There's not just one group's problem. Every group's problem is the same. You don't have a clear one main point. And then you don't really have that map coming out. If we don't know where we're going, then we don't really know. So far, Netflix had the best map, but it wasn't super clear. But that idea was, was good. Some of these companies are not easy. Sands is not easy because there's so many different things. And you're trying to bring everything in. But how can you do that? Like I say, maybe just use one example. Maybe just Singapore resort. And just say, this is this. Show some pictures. These are things to do. And these are just one of our properties. Or the Macau property. Or the award they win. Or something like that. And that gives us a much clearer idea. At minimum, when everybody watches the presentation, everyone should have at least one strong idea. One strong point they walk away with. That they remember. The three feelings in a world. Our legend must be to leave a more responsible and cleaner, safer world for the next generation and the current generation. It's, it is more, far more than a, just an idea. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Celia had too much pressure that day. <laughs> okay. Okay, so on this one, again, the time was uh, good timing, not bad. You used up more of the time, so I think that was well done. Your English pronunciation is pretty good, but of course, you uh, can always use a little bit more work. And I thought your system, the pr one of the problems was your system was not very clear. Okay, so that could use some work. The tempo was too slow and then later slowed down even more. So I know it's not easy, but you've got to keep the tempo variation. Sometimes faster, sometimes slower, and then keep the audience interested. Your uh, language, actually, your linkers and emphasizers were good but they were not, not always clear. Not always clear. And your manner was too stiff, which surprised me because I really thought you guys were more relaxed. Before the presentation began, you were very relaxed. <laughs> and then the presentation became so stiff, it was a little bit surprising. Okay, eye contact was very good. You were always looking right at the camera. You were very clear, but everything else I think needs work to keep it more interesting. Okay, and the visual aids were good, but actually I think that you could have, um, how to say, your topic was so big, but then your pictures were so small. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you were talking about the properties, but they were very tiny pictures. So it never really made your point clear. <coughs> OK.
I think out of all the groups, your presentation would need to be more visual. Okay. Let me add this up here, then a system here, and a delivery that could definitely use some work. And the language was that. The manner could use some work there. And the body stance could use some work. Okay. Not, it's not an easy topic. Okay, now the last one is going to be Starbucks. Okay, so everybody ready for Starbucks? Here we go. Okay, so in this presentation or, or, or for Starbucks, we begin with um, kind of having some fun, right? But it's a little bit difficult to understand what the, what the main point is, right? So if, in this case, everyone, I cannot ask you what the Starbucks make because everybody already knows what they make, right? But if I were to ask you maybe, if I were to ask... Um, uh, let me ask Bo. Uh, what's Eric's main point? The logo. The Starbucks logo. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good. Because. <laughs> <laughs> because, because when, when I, uh, in the presentation, I said, bro, bro, nobody answer me. <laughs> the proper name, nobody answer me. So I, I brought by myself. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I just had a hard time, when I watched your presentation, I had a hard time to understand what was the main point. Now, <laughs> I see its logo, but I didn't really get it. I didn't really understand it. Okay, well, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so <laughs> let's, uh, let's jump back here then. Let me introduce my partner, Paul! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now transitions are not easy, right? So there's a bit of a fun transition.
Okay, the appearance looks good. The, the eye contact is actually quite good. But then the problem is the presentation is very uneven. So when Eric was there, you're, I really had trouble understanding what you were so getting excited about. And then when Paul's there, I'm having trouble understanding what he's so not excited about. So the presentation parts don't really fit together well, you see? And I think Paul's talking about some product parts and some of the name parts, but is this logo too? Is this about logo? Are these their logos? Just not only coffee. And then we we get people discuss our new logo and uh, guessing Starbucks will be that the next speaker talking. She is our CMO. She will show you physical change of the box. Okay, thank you for My name is Naga. I'm a CNO of the box. Today I will introduce a new class to counter the other market for two parts this year. First, we will choose to enter the coffee machine market because our idea is Okay, now we are switching over to kind of another topic, aren't we? This is the part I understood more. So this part's about a new product, right? This part's about the coffee machine home market, right? So I had trouble understanding how is this related to the logo part. So why did we begin with the logo and now we're moving to this? And I thought this was easier to understand than the logo part. The second part, we will choose to enter the smartphone part. Our product's name is Starbucks Phone. Oh, then this is another this one, is the phone product. A pilot's mobile payment scheme that allows customers to use our Starbucks Phone as a warden. Okay, finally, we will show our product's Starbucks Phone and uh, our bed. Very small. Attention. <laughs> Be careful, Emma. We will cut you. <laughs> so, so these parts. <laughs> So these parts I don't really I didn't I, I didn't understand. So <laughs> So uh, I think that the you try to make the presentation interesting by doing something different. That's quite good. The problem is I think you're trying to do too much because you only have a short time and we just need to make one main point. And so having all this stuff about something something makes it harder to understand. Uh, last year you can go to the website, and one of the groups did Sony. And they dress up like there's a Sony CEO and a Sony president. And I thought it didn't, it didn't work because it's, the time is too short. Nobody understands what you're doing. Nobody understands how this helps with the main point, right? It's much easier to try to relax, just have a main point. Know, the information you know is not so huge, but what you know, you know very well. You feel very relaxed. You don't need to know everything, but you're focused. So here, I had, I had trouble to understand the beginning of the presentation. Later, I thought we're talking about the new products. I thought that was easy to understand, home coffee and then the app. But then I started to get confused again. And then at the ending, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think we need to try to focus on a much more narrow area. So the time, actually the presentation was a little bit on the long side, so watch out for your time. And the language needs some more work. So lots of times part of the problem is the language is unclear. So you need to try to make that clear. Now, how do you make it clear? You have three people in your group. So with three people in your group, you can probably try to divide up the, 
the presentation so each person does something different. Not everybody has to take a turn, take a turn. Maybe you can have some interaction. Three people, I mean, you know, it's a lot of people, right? And for, for a small space and a, and a short presentation. Maybe you can have somebody ask some question and make some answer, do something different like that. But this idea of pretending you're someone like, were you pretending you're Obama? Was that the idea? Who were you at the beginning? Who were you at the beginning of the presentation? Who were you be? Who were you? Who? Who? Oh, I act the the president of the the president. No, no, no. Um, president of uh, Starbucks. Yeah, yeah, president of Starbucks. Yeah. Not a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> you see. The the same. Right, but if you're pres if the goal is to present the company to outsiders who don't know it, who would know that? You see, so you already think people already know more than they know. Right? So you need to kind of make that easier at the beginning. If you're going to do something different, it's good. But you need to make it easy for the audience to follow. Okay. Now, we did have more. Here's some body language right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so actually, the body language was actually kind of interesting. Slow down a bit. So I'm going to say it's uneven. Some, uh, some parts were good, some parts were uneven. So you need to work on that. And the visual aids were, 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 were clear, but I didn't understand how they linked with the topics. You see what I'm saying? I didn't understand what's the, how, did the, how did the slides match the topics. Okay, pass that down. Okay, what we like to do now is we're going to just very quickly summarize from the presentations and then you can prepare for next week and then uh, in a minute we're going to do the chapter number two. So uh, just to summarize for the presentations, this was your first presentation, of course it's going to be hard. So what do we learn from this? Everybody as you watch the presentations you can see that the beginning is really important. Okay, And then after the beginning is when people begin to say, um, they're distracted. They want to do something, think something. So you need to get them interested again and then get them interested again. So that, that's why I'm saying it's like a map, you see? It's like, a, like a telling you how to get from A to B. So you need to have a system at the beginning with a main point, strong system, and keep reminding them. And next, and this is part two, and why is part two important? What's the main point? How does this help the main point? Keep it simple. Okay, um, then in the presentation, you need to keep this uh, pacing going. Keep it interesting and then slow down a little bit. Keep it interesting, slow down a little bit. Keep it interesting, slow down a little bit. If you have two people, maybe you need to have some interaction. Everybody needs to relax a little bit. Everybody's too, uh, too tense. Everybody's too uptight. Everybody's too, f a little bit too uh, formal. And you need to have a little bit more interaction, I think, with the audience and with each other. Okay? All right, is there any question about the presentations? Is there any, anything you want to tell me about the presentations that was especially uh, hard for you or easy? No? This is the first presentation, so I think we'll have a big improvement. So next week will be our second presentation. For the second presentation, I want you to prepare a presentation on the finance of the company. Finance. Okay. You're going to be presenting to outsiders from the company. Outsiders. And those outsiders are investors. They're investors. They're not just regular people that don't have money or don't invest. They're, they're investors. Okay? So I want you to present to outsiders who are investors. Same company. Don't change your company now. It's too late. Okay? Any other question? No? Then we're going to take a break. And then... We come back from the break. We're going to look at our homework from last time, and and so, Eric, Eric. <laughs>
This should be picture. For, I like to use this picture for my class. <laughs> this is this is what my class does to you. Okay, take a ten minute break.